welcome to the 18th episode of Eagle News. Today is Friday, September 24th. My name is Ella. And my name is Josie. And today is National Punctuation Day. Punctuation Day is the brainchild of the American professional speaker Jeff Rubin, who launched it in 2004. It is also known as National Punctuation Day and in the United States. The unofficial holiday aims to spread awareness and to educate people on proper punctuation and the virtues of using the appropriate punctuation in any kind of writing. September celebrates National Hispanic and Latinx Heritage Month. Here's today's announcement. Oscar Julius was an American novelist, the son of Cuban immigrants, whose writing chronicles and pre-Castro Cuban immigrant experience in the United States, particularly in New York. In 1990, he was the first Hispanic writer to win a Pulitzer Prize for his second fiction novel, The Mambo King's Play Songs of Love. Now let's get started with the weather and Eagle News weather station with Elena. Thanks, Ella. Today, the weather will be a high of 70 and a low of 51. It will be sunny and very humid. It will also feel pretty hot, so make sure you wear your summer clothes while you can. Now back to the studio with Ella and Josie in the newsroom. Thanks, Elena. Now for he today's headlines. Today, Liberty High School plays Kaufman High School. Good luck, Liberty. And for any of our Eagles that know someone at Berlin going to homecoming, wish them a great time at homecoming tomorrow, the 25th. From the desk of Dr. Davis comes your positive thinking tip. You can't always change the circumstances in your life that feel hard or overwhelming, but you can make small choices that increase your happiness. To surround yourself with positive support of people, don't spend too much time energy thinking about things you cannot change. Focus on the things you can change. Learn coping strategies to work through stress. Identify your support system that can help you when you need it. Put positive energy in the world. Avoid negative self-talk. It's time for Mr. Meadow's best thing on the internet today. And for today's videos, let's look at cute puppies and the love of a pony. Mr. Meadow loves finding videos on his Twitter feed. Roll it. Puppies were so cute. I know. Now I want one. Thank you, Mr. Meta, for those adorable videos. Now let's head over to Mr. Nicolosi's lunch studio with Abby. Thanks, Ella. That was a sweet video. For today's lunch, you can pick your choice of mini or regular corn dogs. Or if you're in the mood for a burger, you can have a cheeseburger, hamburger, or a veggie burger. Or if you're feeling cheesy today, you can have a slice of pizza. As always, you can have a salad or sandwich. Make sure to grab some fruits or vegetables to go along with your meal. And remember, your choice of beverage. Have a great day, Eagles. <laughs> Have a great lunch today, Eagles. Now back to the newsroom for the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now it's time for trivia. For today's trivia, we're making it family food style. Let's head over to the Trivia Green Screen Studio to hear today's questions. Thanks, Josie. Yesterday's question was name something you always associate with tornadoes, and the number one answer was destruction for 37 points. Number two was wind funnels for 29 points. Number three was lightning and thunder for 11 points. Number four was rain and flood for 10 points. Number five was Wizard of Oz for four points, and also next is darkness for four points. The final answer was cows for two points.
today's trivia, here's the question. Name something that people complain about daily. Again, name something that people complain about daily. Always make sure to send two answers to Mr. Meta, and we will let you know what the top ten, the top answers were. Send the best answers so you can be on top. That's it for trivia. Let's head back to the studio for, t the, for our second video on today's show. Thank you for all that great trivia segment, Elena. For our second video, have you ever watched the Pixar movie Monsters, Inc. or Monsters University? Well, there's a new show on Disney Plus that premiered over the summer that we found out was a lot of fun to watch. So let's check it out. Bit more of the Monsters crew. It's called Monsters at Work. Hey Eagles, today we're going to be talking about Monsters at Work. It's a new animated series based on the popular Disney Pixar films, Monsters University and Monsters, Inc. This new series premiered over the summer on July 7th. This series picks up right where we left off in the last film, which had Mike and Sully, two friends who work at Monsters, Inc., a company that turns kids' screams into energy. Now, in Monsters at Work, they turn laughters into energy. One, go. This series focuses on Tyler, a new monster who finds out that his scary skills aren't useful. Previous characters, including Mike and Sully, appear in this series. The executive producer, Bob Gonaway, says people are falling in love with the new group, and I'm so happy about that. Also, if you guys are having a movie night, I recommend Camp Rock. Thank you guys. Check out Monsters at Work on Disney+. Plus. It's really fun to look back at some of the Monsters characters. Now let's head over to This Day in History studio to see what happened on This Day in History. On This Day in... Well, before, but before we start This Day in History, we have a special guest. <laughs> say hi, Frau. Hi! <laughs> Anything you want to say? You got to get down, Frau. You're too, you're too tall. There you go. Wave, wave to the camera. Cameras, see Where those words? The, camera? I don't even the, the see words. See the words? I can see the words. That's oh, the that's camera. That's the camera. Hi, everybody. Guten say, Tag. Say, enjoy this day in history. Enjoy this day in history. All right, we'll see you. Bye, Peterson. <laughs> On this day in 1789, the Judiciary Act was passed by Congress and signed by President George Washington establishing the Supreme Court of the United States as a tribute made up of six justices who were to serve on the court until death or retirement. That day, President Washington nominated John Jay to preside as Chief Justice and John Rutledge, William Cushing, John Blair, Robert Harrison, and James Wilson to be Associate Justices. Thank you, Abby, for that great day in history segment, learning about how our history is so cool. Sadly, it's that time when we have to say goodbye. But before we leave, we like to leave you with our daily quote. Always remember that mistakes are proof that you are trying. Wow, Josie, that's an awesome quote that you found. Make sure to be kind around the school eagles. Thank you, Ella. I'll make sure to be extra kind. And that's it for today's news. My name is Josie. My name is Ella. My name's Elena. And my name is Abby. Happy Friday, eagles. See you next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I, 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 I